guys welcome back to today's video is your girl and happy new year to each and every one of you i haven't done i haven't showed my face on my channel this year and uh, it's because this year <laughs> i don't know what to say this year like this year is just two weeks or three weeks old about three weeks or two weeks old but my eye has seen shaggy <laughs> I have been very, very sick. I have been very sick, and um, yes, so I haven't really shown my face. I haven't really done sit down video. I haven't really done, but I'm getting better. Um, and hopefully, the rest of the year is just going to be nice. So, guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to Audi and I want to show you what 63 euro is able to get you in Audi. Here, um, Audi is one of the most cheapest uh, food stuff store in Germany and um, one of the things that I want to sh uh, let you know is this, in this video, is the best time to shop in Germany. Generally, the best time to buy things and you are able to get some um, some money, able to save some money. So one of them is there are two days that you can shop things in Germany and you will see fresh items on the, um, on sales. That is Saturday evening. When I mean Saturday evening, it means one hour before the closure of any shop. When you go in there, the vegetables, the fruits that they know that will, that will be bad by the time they close their store for a day, for 24 hours, one or 24 hours before they open it, they put them on 30% sales, 50% sales. And the other day that you can go to Germany, any shop in Germany, and you are able to get things very, very cheap, so fresh items, very cheap, is Monday morning, very early. So when they are opening their shop, just one hour after they open their shop, they would have displayed things in the, the shelf and all that. And then they will come and see some of those things that have gone by that, that, that was not able to make it through till Monday, still fresh. So they will drop the prices for people to pick them up. So Saturday evening, one hour before the closure of the shop for the weekend. And then one hour after the resumption on Monday morning. That is a great tip from me. I'm telling you to try it and then you come back to say thank you. I know that Monday morning, everybody is going to work. Just in case you are on a shift or something and you are not there, you are sorry, you are there on Monday. Just try it, okay? So, guys, these are the things that I bought from Audi, and um, some of them are on sales. Especially, um, I buy a lot of organic products, especially when it comes to um, chicken, yogurt, fresh things. I buy a lot of organic, so. If you also want to get things like that, organic in Germany is a bit expensive. The difference is not much anyway. The price is always sent. But if you buy these things when they are on sales, you might probably get the same price that you get normal um, on organic products. So the first thing that I bought is this fresh chicken. This is live chicken that is fresh. And um, yeah, this is for 15 euros. This is a fresh chicken and when you look at it you see that it's from bio um it's more expensive but this is supposed to last us for two or three days or two or three times i'll divide it into two sometimes sometimes divide it into three and then we are able to use it three or four times before we finish it so i bought onion the best onion is from adi and this is bio product and before we normally buy this onion for 9.99 cents, but now it's 1 euro 20 1 euro 19 cents, sometimes 1 euro 20 cents. I don't know if it's because it's winter, because winter in Germany is practically um, the time that fresh items are always expensive because there is no sun. So most majority of the things that you are seeing here, they import them. Even the things that they grow here in Germany, those things are not growing because it's winter, so they still bring them from outside the country. So this is onion. I bought this for one euro ninety cents. Of course, this spinach. Adi does not have this spinach before, but I was just there today and then I saw it. It's from Italy. I was surprised. I buy a lot of, we use a lot of spinach like this, this 500 gram. When we want to make vegetable soup, African vegetable soup, this is what we use. So, but we buy them from Aldi or we buy them from Hint and other shops. But Aldi does not sell them. But I was surprised today I saw it and I bought. 
So I also bought this. This is um this is the kind of salad. We use it. This is what I use for salad. It's very very nice. I started using it recently, and I find it better than I find that the taste is actually better than iceberg salad and spinach when spinach salad. This salad spinach or the one that that spinach that they use for salad draws. We are not able to eat it in this house. Once I use it to make salad, my husband is not able to eat it. He's not he's not able. Okay. There's a lot of um a lot of drawing like it draws. So we don't like it. So we normally eat leaf salad this way. So um, this one was also 99 cents today. Normally this is 120 cents, 130 cents because it's on sales. So it was about no, it was about 71 cents. So this is another thing that we buy from Adi. We love this French granola. If you grew up in Nigeria, one of the tastes that you will never forget is one of the is is one of those things that you have eaten and you know the real taste of all the granola that peanuts that I have eaten here in Germany. This is the one that is real peanuts. There's no salt. This is natural. This is natural granola. It's, it's a bit messy when you want to break it and bring out the granite, bring out the peanuts. Yeah, but this is what we use and I recommend it. So I bought also, I bought this avocado. Avocado is expensive now, less is on sales. I have the frozen one because I want to use this for salad. So that is why I bought just one. It is one euro 20 cents. And then I have the yogurt that we use. This is the yogurt that I use for my snack. When my husband wants to, when we want to snack, when we want to make smoothie, we use a lot of yogurt. So I bought this, and this is enough for a whole week. And guys, one of the things that I have never tried is this milk inside the container. This is fresh milk. This is fresh milk, and it will last only three or four days. It's always fresh, and they produce it, and then. Sometimes they produce it in a way that it lasts for only three weeks because it's fresh milk and it is stored inside the fridge. Okay, so this is fresh milk. There's another milk that they call hard milk. Those ones, they can leave it outside. It will last longer. But those one, three weeks maximum, is already going bad. But I have never bought the one that is inside the container. So I just want to try it for the first time and see. So I bought this. And then I bought some banana. And I bought this apple. This apple is from hmm, Italy. I have I have tried it before. It's very very delicious. Uh, because I make a lot of snacks, I I try to to reduce the use of honey because in winter the fruits are very very sour. That is why I use honey most of the time on my videos. But if you have something like this, this is very, very sweet. You will not need it. So I bought this and I bought it. This is about 2 euro, 2 euro 30 cents. And of course, I bought some cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes in this house is like a must because, man, forget it. Everything that we snap on this, my husband eats tomato, these cherry tomatoes with granite. When he feels like eating things, or even me, we just pick tomatoes, we put granite inside, we just between the <laughs> granite. That is how we, <laughs> we snack in this house. So every time I have tomatoes here, cherry tomatoes, and then I bought this cucumber. Cucumber is quite expensive now. This is about one euro fifty cents. One euro fifty cents. Yeah. And then I have never tried this um, beet at all i have never tried this bit at all but i saw it today and i saw that it's from the region once you see something like this regional stuff you know that the product or the food is grown around here so this wrote a bit of northern wet farm so it is here it is around here and it was packed here in Brugge. Brugge. Bruggen. Brooklyn is about 30, 30 to 40 kilometers away from here. I know the city where it was packed. So, that was the reason why I bought it. And I'm going to try to see, I want to use it today to see if it is really, really okay. If it is okay, I'm going to go ahead because it's on Angie Boat. It's on sales now in Aldi. I'll just go in there and buy more. 
before it's sold out. Then when I buy more, I will freeze them so that I can keep using them. Then I bought paprika. This paprika is also from Spain. Most of the things that I see here is from Italy, from Spain. So a lot of things here are not from. It's not from Germany. It's only I think it's only the milk, the yogurt, and the, the what else again? Uh, the chicken. That is what we got from Germany. This red onion. I don't know if it's from Germany. Let me see. It's from Netherlands. You see. So all these things that I bought. Let me see. I also bought Brazil corn. Guys, I don't know what my husband has seen in Brazil. Brazil corn. My husband can chew raw Brazil corn. When we go out to eat pizza, burger, my husband will especially ask for Brazil corn. So I buy it always. And sometimes he sniffs it. He loves the smell. He loves the taste. I don't know if this man has become Italian. I don't know. So let's see where this came from. I don't know where this came from. Hmm. Okay, this is from <laughs> Germany. Oh, we have two products. We have the chicken and then we have the yogurt and milk and then we have the basilico from Germany. It's something to shout about. Then I bought this. Um, we have, I don't need this. Mm. I don't need this today, but I buy always one or two to put here. Sometimes when I want to make concussion, I just want to make food and then I have something to use. And this is eggs. This is eggs. Uh, I bought some eggs also. And my husband loved this zaft, this juice. I don't know why. He loved this juice. Every week he buys this 100%. I always tell him that this 100%, even though it is written 100%, I don't trust that. This is, there is no sugar. There is naturally sugar in grapes. So, but he likes it, so he buys one. This is enough for him throughout the week. And then, of course, I will buy my berries. This is what I got. I don't know where this came from. It comes from Peru. And of course, I bought two pieces of orange. I'm going to use this. This was also on Antibot. It was on sale. So that was what I bought. I'm going to use it to make maybe fruit salad. I'm just going to press it and then use it for juice or use it to snack later. So guys, that is what I got. Do you think that all this worth 63 euros? What do you think? I bought a lot of... Um, organic products here so that might just be the reason but most of the only thing that took a lot of money is this chicken which cost 15 euro 19 cents so that is it so guys thank you so much for watching what do you think do you think things for me i think things are beginning to come down a bit compared to last year i don't know i just feel it because I remember that time you just pick one or two things like this, you pay 100 euros. Okay, this what you are seeing here is enough for us for three, four days. In fact, some of them will stretch to next weekend before we go to another shopping. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much, guys, and uh, see you next time.